Would you believe me if I tell you I found a way to switch sequences instantly? How about changing patterns in time so when the program change goes from the MPC to the Octatrack, it will actually switch? I found a way to actually make that work. Let me tell you all about it right now. <laughs> Hey, I'm Analog Kitchen and thank you for checking out this video. Now, if this is your first time here, don't hesitate to click subscribe and hit the notification bell so whenever I drop a new video online, you'll be the first to find out all about it and you'll help me grow my channel. So switching patterns instantly. This is a bit of a tacky video, but it's something that I get asked a lot. What have I told you? If you connected a synthesizer to a sequencer, you wanna switch sounds by using program change, it will instantly switch whenever you go to another a sequence. Say you've got bank A, you want to go to bank B, the different synthesizer sound like that, the synthesizer sound will switch. If you're doing the same thing with sequencing, for some reason, some sequencers take four bars to switch to the pattern, which is all cool if you're sticking in the same key, but what if you've got different songs on different patterns and you need to switch instantly? What I found is by connecting the Octatrack directly to the MPC Live, that when I switched a pattern on the MPC Live, it took four bars for the Octatrack to understand what was going on. Electron already has this covered. If you buy Electron gears, it basically switches sequences simultaneously. So the A1 pattern on all machines will go to the A2 pattern if you switch it. Now, if you're using different brands, I'm not entirely sure if it happens with all the brands, my MPC Live is the boss in my uh, setup, which I'll show you in a second. I've got the Octatrack handling top loops, handling sound sequencing, handling beat slicing. So there's different tasks that I have for the Octatrack, but I do want it to switch simultaneously with the MPC Live. Sometimes when I switch from a sequence and where I use sequence for different songs, I might go to a different key. Now, the last thing I would want is the MPC Live to switch to that different key and then the Octatrax in another key. That's not gonna happen. You know, it sounds awful and I want everything to happen at the same time. I found a way to actually switch on the MPC and have the Octatrack do the same thing instantly. Let's head over to the live set and let me tell you on how I figured this out and maybe it might work for you. All right, so basically what it is all about is like on the MPC Live, you can see right here that I've got the whole uh, sequence set up in such a way that like um, if you've got the 16 squares right here, they're all yellow and the green one is the one that is playing. But if you know how the MPC works, basically going into the menu, you've got your setup right here. Uh, the next sequence is where you can actually determine what is playing and you have to look at your sequences as if they were uh, scenes as in Ableton. So the track here plays this. And as you can see, I've named them. I've named the patterns in such a way that you could actually see like this is pattern 3.1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, and then I'll go to 4. So I've divided the 16 uh, squares into two separate tracks, this being one track and this being the other track. Now the sequence that plays, it's got different kinds of information. As you can see, this is like the drop. You can hear that it's actually only just the bass information playing. Going back here, you see the little uh, line on the top and the bars that are playing as well. Now, on the Octatrack, the way I've done it now, you can see the one blinking that means that 3.5 is coming up. And the trick that I've done is that the Octatrack then gets also the information to switch to a different pattern. So looking at the Octatrack, you'll see in the bottom left corner, it will switch to a different pattern in time. Now what basically happens 
if you go to a different track, for instance, let's go to this track, and I switch it immediately. Normally, the octa track would keep running in the last sequence. Let me give you an example of what usually happens. Say if I'm playing this pattern right now. And I want to switch to this pattern. You hear? Something was off, right? It didn't really switch in time. So if I play the octa track, you will hear this. You and the track that it needs to play is this. This is what the octave track plays now. So if I go to the different pattern on the MPC. So. You hear? That's just out of key. It doesn't work. It's out of tune. So, and I was contemplating how do I switch from one track to another track, and the octa track needs to start immediately. I actually love reading manuals, but 99.9% .9 of the people out there they don't read manuals. Now, this is the trick. Going into the MPC, dedicate one specific track to the octa track. On this specific track, when you go in here, list edit, there is a MIDI command 35 and a MIDI command 34. One is uh, MIDI reset and the other one is start stop. Now this is the trick. The octa track usually gets this information late. So what will happen is it gets the MIDI command like okay you need to switch to the different pattern but it will get it on the pattern itself already so when the MPC live has already switched to the different song it'll take uh, in this case one bar on the octa track but if you've got it set up to play four bars you have to wait for four entire bars before it switches to the next track now if the track is in the same key you won't necessarily notice it that much but if the track is not in the same key you're actually thinking what the hell is going on it's ridiculous i imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like alice tumbling down the rabbit hole i've selected one track that's just only got midi command information so on the first of the bar as you can see 1.1.0 it gets the 35 command and on the end of the bar which in this case it, because this sequence is eight bars long so on bar 9.1.0 it gets midi command 34 now i have muted it so that it doesn't play but if i demute it you'll see that if i play let me go back to the sequence so you guys can follow what's happening here okay so this is what's playing just for sake of argumentation this is what the octa track plays and this is what the other sequence is that the, uh, that the octa track is playing you and you can hear it goes to a different key so the last thing you would want is for this to start late right i just showed you how that worked so now with this on when i go from this song i've structured here into this song over here it's gonna go to the next song now one two three and there you go instant switching now, it is a trick because the octa track, you are actually tricking the octa track into thinking you need to stop and start again. And on the end of the bar, you're tricking the octa track into saying reset whatever is in the buffer. So basically, it gets the command to restart. If I'm building up my track, I don't have to switch to 
different sequences now because I don't have to do it. The computer is taking care of that so I can focus myself on different things. Example. You can see it right now when I'm actually uh, manipulating the um, Model B. Okay, going to the outro beat right now. actually so if I go to a different track right now say I'm going to track number five you'll see that this is going to actually switch again you hear? Well, 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 that's actually happening right now So you can actually now, instead of having to think like, okay, I have to switch this one thing and make a track on this, then make a track on the octa track, make a track on it. It's cool to do it because I, I actually also work like that. I've got different sequences on different machines, but in order for me to be a little bit more like a band, it's easier for me to actually think on, okay, the octa track has got so many things that the MPC Live cannot do. I really want uh, all the different pieces of equipment to um, have different parts to play. And I really enjoy that I can program it in such a way that my uh, small little robot minions do whatever I would like. So going to a different track altogether, I think this one, you might know this one. So if I come out of this track here. Raindrops falling all around. There's actually already down. something happening. You see, it's on fly. pattern E1. All so that's the, the four midi parts down. in the octa track are I'm already structured. Raindrops falling all around. Trickling down. I'm ready to fly. Raindrops falling. So let's see what happens around. if we move down. into the See? Trickling down. Exactly, it's changed. I'm ready to fly. Instantly. Raindrops falling. See? Trickling down. I'm ready this to fly. This is where the vocal is. Raindrops but I don't want this vocal to play all the time. Around. So when I go to the Trickling next down. sequence where more music is coming, the lovely lady needs to all at some around. point shut the hell up. Trickling down. Okay, here we go. I'm ready next to fly. Here, different pattern, she's gone. I don't have to manually do something, so I've got my hands free to do different stuff. Cool, isn't it? Back to the other pattern. Raindrops falling all around, trickling down. So I'm turning I'm off everything that the NPC is playing. Raindrops falling all around, trickling down. I'm ready to fly. Next sequence. You hear? That's where the bass line is coming in. See if there's some, uh, something else coming in. I think it's the sample again. Might go back. I'm not sure. Raindrops falling all around. Trickling down. I'm ready to fly. Raindrops See, there's another falling sample that just enters here. All around. 
trickling down. And then with the MPC, I'm ready to fly. Sounds like this. Raindrops falling all around. Trickling down. I'm ready to fly. Raindrops falling. So in short, the Octatrack has a start-stop command and it has a reset command. You have to use both of them in order for the Octatrack to start on the one. So this will give you, um, if you have to wire it up, because the connection obviously is that the out of one out of the Akai MPC is going into the end of the Octatrack, obviously, because that's how I set it up. This one is the master, this one is the slave. It gets the information from here, so you can send me the information over to uh, the Octatrack. Thank you for checking out this video. If you like this content at all, don't hesitate to click subscribe and also hit the notification bell and share this video, of course, because you help me grow my channel and we can get all these tips out there. I love electronic music. I love to play it live and I hope that you can find these tips of some benefit for you. And I'll catch you in another video.